Hi guys, welcome to my channel, in this video, I am going to show you, some of the hidden features, you can find in the developer options, so let's get started. By default, the developer option, is hidden option, to enable that, first go to Android settings, and then, scroll down to about option. Then, go to software information, and click more, and then, tap on the build number, 7 times, on rapid succession, which will give you a pop-up, saying that, you are a developer now. That's all, the developer option is enabled, now, when you go back to settings, you will notice a new tab, appear, above the about option, called the, developer option. Open that up, here you will find, a lot of option, now, depending on the device manufacturer, and Android versions, some of the options, may be missing, or misplaced. Now most of these are targeted towards the developer, but some of these, have a very interesting use, like the mock location option. Turn that on. Now you can fake the GPS location, to anywhere in the world. By simply downloading an app, from Play Store, called Fake GPS. After downloading, open that app. And now you can pinpoint any coordinate around the world, and click Start. And then, enable the GPS option. That's all, next time, when you share your location in your social media, fake location will be shown to them. And, from down the list, we have a very small, but very cool option, called as, Show Pointer Touches. Once that turned on, it will show the touches, on your mobile screen, which is very helpful, if you are screen recording your Android device. And, next one, we are going to see is, Process Stat option. Which will, show you, the device memory, or the RAM usage, it also shows the, current status of your device RAM, whether it is normal or not. If you find an app in the list, which you don't use much, and consumes, lot of space, then you can force stop the app, which will not only speed up the device, but will also help in saving battery. And the next one we are going to see is, USB debugging option, most Android related PC tools, such as ADB, will require you to enable this USB debugging option. And the next feature is, desktop backup password, before you create a backup on your desktop, you can first create a password, for your backup, to prevent accessing your backup easily. And next option is, stay awake option, normally, when you charge your phone, the screen of the device will automatically turn off, if for some reason, you want your screen, to stay awake, you can do that, by enabling this option. Then go to, hardware acceleration option menu, in that, you have, the two most useful settings. First one is, force GPU rendering, which will render 2D objects on the GPU, if you have an app or 2D games laging on your device, then, turn that on. Definitely, the 2D games or app will run, smoother than before. Then the second option is very cool, if you have a high-end phone with high graphic performance, and you play 3D games on it, there is a way to make those games work better, by enabling, Force 4X MSAA option. By this option, your high-end apps and games, will get a boost in their performance, and it will look much better than before. And the next option is the coolest option, which controls the speed of animation on your device, now by default, all of them are 1x. But for demonstration purpose, if I change it to 10x, then you can see how slowly, the animation are moving. Here, you can choose to speed up the animation, or turn it off entirely, the lower the number you choose, the faster the animation moves, however, I recommend you, to set these scales to 1x, which will give you smoothness of the animation effect in your device. Then at the end of the list, you have a set of option, which can literally speed up your device. First one is, don't keep activities option, the name itself is pretty self-explanatory, it will kill an app or activity, as soon as you leave them, it will be very useful for low-end model device. And the next one is, 
background process limit option, which is an advanced version of the previous option, you know Android is a pure multitasking device, but too many background activity can slow down the device, with this you can set a limit of background activity, so as to increase the speed of the device. And the last option is, show CPU usage, which will show you the overlay in top right corner of your device, showing you, what process are currently running on CPU, and how much load your CPU is taking. That's all, if any of this option, creates an opposite effect, you can always disable the developer option, I have also added a video on how to disable the developer option, so kindly watch that, if you want to disable the developer option. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like this video, hit thumbs up, if you have any queries, please comment below, we are open to suggestions, thanks for watching, subscribe us for more videos, have a nice day.